Well, hello there and welcome, welcome, because we've got an amazing hour. Um, we're learning maybe a different side to somebody that you may not have come across before. And I'm looking forward to this one. We are talking Janie's Originals, and of course, Janie is here with us. And this is kind of going right back, kind of, to, to where you start with original artwork. Yeah, so it's something I've done pretty much all my life. Actually, me and my mum were talking the other day and I was like, I think I was probably crafting or drawing from the first moment I was able to hold a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. But yeah, I started off as a painter, yes. really. Yeah. Um, but only did originals, didn't yeah. do prints. It was very important to me to have everything as one off. Okay. Um, so that whoever bought them took ownership and it was theirs and no one else would have the same. Right. Um, I then started teaching yeah. workshops and, and bringing it to the craft market, really, because mm -hmm. I always kind of straddled art and craft. Yes. Which was a bit awkward when I was at uni because they were like, you're not really an artist, but you're they not. Put you in they a didn't box. really understand. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I just do what I do. <laughs> but yeah, this really coming here was really because of the first lockdown, because I had oh, to stop okay. teaching my workshops, obviously. Right. Yeah. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll start kitting things up. And then it kind of went from there. Nice. And so. I follow you on Facebook and I see some of the amazing things that you're doing, obviously theatres and things like that, obviously when the opportunity yeah. was there. Yeah. But hopefully we'll be able to see that again very, all, very yeah, soon. Yeah, all sorts of things. I like to turn my hand to I love whatever it. I fancy. Well, this is it. You do it so well. <laughs> so that's how it all came about. So, uh, yeah, by all means, do jump ahead and have a little look at what we've got because I think we're going to have a busy, busy hour with Janie. So the bundle that we've got here, talk us around what we've got here and what the idea was. Okay, so I originally started calling them journals. Okay. However, I don't write in my journals. Okay. So I thought, well, it's more of an album of treasures. So nice. That's where the treasure album yes. kind of came up. Um, but it means because you've got the ring binders, you can add, you can take away. Sometimes I find it, people find it scary if you've got a book that's pre-made to start putting things in because they're scared mm -hmm. they're going to go wrong, if that's the, you know, if that's the term. Um, but with this, you can add, you can take away. It can be a long project or you can do it in one. It's, you know, but the, the theme is from the Hidden Garden series. Okay. Um, this is Heritage Garden, which I named just because of the colourway, really. Yes, nice. So yeah. I've designed all the papers. It's limited edition. Um, there won't be any more of these. There's quite a lot of fabric elements, so this won't be repeated. I can't They're get quite, all the same quite items. It's a unique again. little bundle, isn't yes. it? That's the key thing. Yeah. So, obviously, the, the unique elements like the fabrics and the lace, there's, no, there's not an ever. And never ending supply of these, no. is there? So no. um, that, that's one of the key things. Now, you see, obviously, you've got your board there with the holes in them. So those are going to create potentially your covers. We say potentially because at the end of the day, it's your kit. You can create exactly what you want and how you want to with this. But you have got some amazing elements in here. And I love this. It's kind of a fusion of um, kind of up to date um, new artwork yeah. with almost that vintage element, kind of yeah. as a, a little essence running through it as well. But yeah. inspiring, obviously, the artwork that's featured. Well, yeah. a combination of elements yes. isn't it? but also you can make this the one that you're holding now is completely with the kit nothing else added apart from some distress ink and basics things like that we've that. already got but i think that they're really good if you want to add your own photos if you do write in a journal ideal for a gardening journal or for your thoughts you know anything you fancy really but I wanted it to be standalone, but add to it if you want to. So all the elements, like the toadstools that we're seeing yep. down here, the little floral, almost like little, these remind me of the little cigarette cards that my granddad used to yeah. um, have yeah. when uh, we were little, and little pockets. Obviously little essences of the elements that you've got with the lace in here, all coming together within this set. Yeah, so they're all printed on 120 GSM, which I find a perfect weight for if, if you want a fussy cut. You've okay. got envelopes in there, you've got tags, you've got the little cards like you said but then you can fussy cut into those if you want to so there's lots of elements in there as well as your um, cover images as well they are proven to be very very popular 24 pounds and 99 pence if you wanted to get hold of yours you need to be quick because 30 percent of the stock has gone literally just delving into those covers there obviously you've got built vintage pages those obviously will vary because they are original so obviously yours won't be exactly the same as you're seeing featuring in here but it's going to be along the same lines of those because they're not 
replicated. Those are originals. Elements that are replicated, though, are these fabulous little floral images there that you can see here. So these are absolutely beautiful going through there and obviously all within those wonderful covers as well. We need to move on because we are incredibly busy. So 410758 um, if you fancy getting hold of that particular bundle. Pop it into your basket straight away. Now, we are busy because we've got additional elements to share with you. And you have jumped ahead to have a little look at these stamps. Brand new, beautiful stamps featuring Janie's original artwork. And that's yes. quite key with this because these are hand-drawn. Yes. And I said to you earlier, the yeah. old-fashioned way, well, I, I call <laughs> it the pen-to-paper range um, because it is, and I've got a few sketches I can show people later if we've got time. Um, I start off with literally rough doodles on a page. Okay. I don't work in a sketchbook, it's just on paper. Can I and bring then it this develops forward? from there. Absolutely. Let me bring this forward. Just look at that. How adorable is that? Absolutely amazing. Created using the fabulous art. I love the little daisy that you've got on his <laughs> head there. So cute. Absolutely adorable. But Beautiful. the idea is, so this is Hawking hair. Okay, so who's um, Hawking? Hawking This is Hawking, yeah. Um, Hawkins was my mum's maiden name. Oh, so I Hawking see. hair. Um, but it's the idea that, I don't know if you know, but I live on a nature reserve. Oh, okay. So, um, and growing up, I've, I've always lived there. So for me, when I was young, it was kind of like a magical world where I would have my own little adventures. I was either always outside, yeah. uh, being a bit of a tomboy, or I was inside cutting up paper and making things and drawing oh, I things. See. But this is kind of my idea of a world within a world. So mm. Hawking can be magical. There's a pair of fairy wings, if Hawking wants fairy wings, or you can have the hair as is. And I love that little dandelion clock down at the bottom there as well. Amazing. Limited stock, not surprised. We knew we were going to be busy for these ones. £15.99. pence. But the original artwork, have a look at this. This is the original creation yes. that you made with this one. Beautiful. And I painted that pretty much a year ago, almost to the day. Oh, wow. And that one was painted for Melissa from Simply Vintage. Ah, oh, and talking of which, it's Melissa that's emailed that in. And Melissa, um, lots of love from us here at Tachanda. Um, hope you, you're up and about soon and we will see you back here very, very soon. Technically sold out. Now, it is technically oh. sold out, but we have got them on extended delivery. You know that demonstration you're going to show us with the stamps? Yeah, that was the first one. <laughs> OK, right. I don't know if it's going to last, to be honest, so we may need to rejig things. We have got a few on extended delivery. We're talking, what was it, a week with regards to these. So the 9th of March, but those are nearly gone as well. So, yeah, we knew that they are going to be popular. Uh, you're going to have to bring these, well, yeah. <laughs> I said bring them back, but we can't bring them back to you. So, anyway, the details are there on your screen if you want them to be quick. Talk about being quick. Lots of you added this set in alongside because you've been doing your research. You've jumped onto the website and have a little look. My sister used to have an imaginary crow as her friend oh, really? when she was little. <laughs> when she was little, so this is very, very significant. Christopher Crow, and we've yes. got the original artwork again at the back here. Um, a beautiful piece, and again about a year ago you created yes, this. Yes, but both of the paintings were done at the same time, and they were my first paintings of the year. That one actually is a raven, but the, there's. There's not I much difference the between difference. them. No, there's not much difference between them. I'm a townie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What can I say? The artwork, though, absolutely incredible. And, of course, those beautiful essence elements coming through. I love the ethereal star on the moon that you've got with this, the beautiful trail with this, the fabulous phrase, Christopher Crow. What a character. Not surprisingly, limited in stock, as you can see <laughs> on your screen. It has gone green. Again, the artwork, phenomenal. And it's original artwork that's been creating these wonderful stars as well so naturally you know the next stage it has sold out but we have got extended delivery again with these but again not huge quantities so if you are wanting to get involved it's exactly the same item number but you need to be quick do not miss out on these amazing stamps coming to you again good size stamps that's the key thing with these and lots of detail within there so 072974 if you fancy getting hold of those stamps please be quick they're not going to last simple as so now treasure boxes this is something that i am fascinated with and i know you guys will be as well because we've got a couple of different um, ways of you getting hold of these with a different variety of elements in there but what you have got is loads of stuff in it and i love it when we get stuff yeah and loads of it because you can do all sorts of it can't you talk us about what we've got in here then so you've got all the elements to make everything that's within that box that you've got there okay. and you've got step-by-step -step instructions for every element so you've got a faux quill that you make 
which actually has the pen inside it so you can use it. Um, a little mini book, um, depending on which option you go for. That one, is that the dark one you've got there? I can't see from over here. Oh, sorry, this is the one where I've got... Um, the dark brown? Yes, yeah, yeah dark so brown, yeah. So that's faux leather right. that you've got to make the little book. Again, full instructions of how to make that. You've got a little scroll there which has got a treasure map in it. Lovely. So you can roll it up as a scroll so like that or you can fold it up. Either way, it fits into the box. Love it. Um, and yeah, you've got like a little magical potion bottle there yeah. as well. Yeah, and the little fabulous charms. You've even got the little um, key lock element there. These are going to open up. So you are getting your blank canvas. So you can literally see that you're going to get your little box like so. You're going to get full instructions. You're going to get everything that you need in there to create these amazing elements with your faux leather to create your fabulous little book, as you can see there. £19.99, 772-299. If you're wanting to get hold of that, please be quick. Do not miss out on that. You've got your tags. You've got your papers. I haven't even gone through these. These are literally flying out and these are the elements that you're going to need to build up your design but you're going to have way more than you need within there and again you can see full instructions even printed on the sheets here so you know exactly where everything sits with that gorgeous artwork that Janie has produced for us so 772 299 if you're wanting to get hold of that but then there's another way you can get hold of something similar now this one is a more of a pale tone so you have the darker um, faux leather in that particular one this one you've got real leather and this time much lighter tone with these so very very similar similar sort of setup so again you're going to get your box within there but then this time when you're creating you're creating your elements in a slightly different style so your lighter um, quill as you can see there your lighter cover book but the similar elements just a different color tone yes exactly so you've got all the elements within there and as you said this has got a real leather rather than faux leather so if you're not keen on that I would go for the darker tone um, and you've got the pale feather that you make rather than the black one now I've got a little pot of goodness. What's the little pot yes. in there? Yes, so um, with all the kits that are on today, I've made a bespoke colour for each of the kits. Oh, wow. So, and all of the kits are limited edition. So I've made the colour that I would personally use on the key. Um, you'll have a little bit extra as well. It's quite thick paint, so um, for, for a good coverage on the MDF key. Okay. So you can water it down. There's a good amount of pigment in there. Beautiful, and that's included in there as well. Again, it's up to you how you design your box, how you create it. You've got all the elements there, it's down to you. So you've got all your little bits of lace in there, you've got your fabulous kind of velvet. Love this idea of fraying it and turning it into almost like a, a little um, piece of grass there. Very that, that's creative. That's vintage velvet, so you get more Clever. than you need for the base. Because the more. idea is it looks like a moss carpet that's yeah. inside. Um, but yeah, you've got more than you need, so you can put that little frayed element on the top if you want to. Like you said, decoration is completely up to you, but exactly. you've got full instructions of how to make all the elements and cover the box. Love it. So yeah, everything is in there. The base box to start with. The sheets, again, will tell you what goes on the top, what goes on the bottom, what goes on the side. You've got everything. Your signage, you'll be able to pop that in there, put your own little treasure label in there if you so wish. And again, it's going to come with a fabulous um, little uh, treasure map and you will get your full instructions showing you how to create everything that you need to know within there as well. It's a really, really fabulous kit and it's again flying out. Um, 278982 if you wanting to get hold of this one 19 pounds and 99 pence now let me give you a few updates the crow the crow stamp set it is now limited stock on extended delivery so if you wanted to get hold of this please do not dilly dally make sure you are getting it into your basket but more importantly get your basket checked out 072974 now that fabulous starter kit that we were looking at the heritage garden that one, um, it sold out I didn't even have a chance to tell you and it's been back on extended delivery um, and over half of that extended delivery stock has gone. So um, apologies that I wasn't able to give you the update on that one, but yeah, you've got it now. So if you were waiting to get hold of this one, please don't wait much longer because you could potentially miss out on it altogether. Um, 410756. Now something else you might like to consider adding into your basket alongside any of those goodies is something that um, is quite, quite a special thing but it's a digital download now this is brilliant because what this means is you're going to get loads of elements that you can reprint over and over 
over again. So six ninety nine being your price on your screen there. Two three eight nine three three. And of course, everything is done electronically. You won't get anything sent to you physically, but you will get all the um, information that you need sent to you via your email address. So uh, yeah, it's uh, another way of actually crafting with these. The crow. Go say goodbye to the crow. He has gone, Christopher, um, and um, hawking her again. Another one that's gone. We knew that they would do. And the extended delivery has gone. And also this kit that's just been chatting about. That has gone as well. So basically the first three items have gone. <laughs> Fifteen minutes into the hour. I hope you can tap dance. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we knew we were going to be busy, but my goodness. So, okay. Uh, um, right. So what do you want to have a chat well, about? Let me just mention that anyone that's bought the two stamp sets together. Okay. There is a story that goes with the whole show. There's a theme okay. of uh, Christopher and Hawkin. Um, and I wrote the story out with an old fashioned dip pen, oh, wow. which took me ages. I bet, yeah. Uh, so anyone that's bought the, both of the stamp sets together, you will get a copy of that. Oh, Fabi, not and you're not handwriting them all, are you? No, <laughs> um, I did handwrite it and then scan it in, um, and then it will be printed on a lovely weight cartridge paper. Wonderful. So anyone that's got the two sets together oh. will get that oh, thrown in with their order. They could illustrate it with the stamps, couldn't they? Beautiful. So is there much point in me showing you how the stamps are done if they're gone? Well, not really. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got your original artwork, which yes. is beautiful. So well, that's I'll obviously I'll reiterating everything. I'll quickly flip everything. through because, you know, the idea is that they're all hand-drawn. Okay. So you can see from my original really rough drawings, they gradually get refined. That is what ended up being the final. Okay. The only thing that I did digitally on this one was I wanted his eye to be changed and I didn't want to redraw the whole thing okay so that was the only thing that was done digitally lovely um oh his top hat yeah, yeah his top hat which also fits Hawking as well wonderful right so that was Christopher lovely. and then again you can see um <laughs> yeah, oh. cross the body out didn't like that but it's you know it's just to show you how the ideas start to come together I love it very very rough and then I thought oh we oh, could wings. have wings and then it starts to get a little bit more refined. Beautiful. Yeah, and then that's that's how they worked out. Gorgeous. So, I can't do the demo that I was going to show you, which was okay. Hawking. Okay. <laughs> so, what do we have left, Hayley? Well, um, at the moment we've got the digital download and we've also got the little boxes, the little right. treasure okay. boxes. Okay, what I'll do then is I will show you one of the elements in the boxes. And this is the little mini book. Okay. So you've got a choice, Hayley. So this Hayley. is the little book that goes within the treasure yes. box? Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, do you want dark or do you want light? Ooh, I kind of like the light, actually, because, yep. yeah, it's time we're looking to lighter tones, maybe. And then in the kit, you get a lighter thread, and with the darker one, you get the darker thread. Okay. Okay. So you get uh, one sheet of... Uh, this is a nice heavyweight cartridge paper. It's a recycled cartridge. Okay. And again, all of these elements are explained in your um, instructions. Lovely. So we fold it in half, and it doesn't matter if you start this way or the other way, the, the end result is the same. Now, if you want to be nice and neat, which I rarely am, you can cut this, but I like to tear it because it gives you that nice feathered edge. So you're going in half, in half again. So you keep doing it in half until you get eight pieces. So this is nice because you don't have to use a guillotine or anything. No. Like I said, you can do if you want nice, neat edges. And when I put it together, because obviously you're going to get one hard edge mm -hmm. and a soft edge, so I tend to rotate them. Oh. So is it when you're flipping through the book? That's a good tip. That, yeah. I'm getting worried now, Hayley, what I'm going to do for the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we're so you have only got the one show with us, though, haven't you, yes. today? Oh, yes, that's I do, yes. It's going to take us off. I think you have now, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but, yeah, don't forget, we've got some additional stamps that we've not had a chance to share with you either yet. There's some gorgeous lace stamps and some fabulous border elements as well. So there's loads of other stamps for you to check out if you're into your stamps and you missed out on some of those. Can I just show you the little book... Can I show you the little book that um, 
Janie's working with because this is obviously the element that she's working with at the moment so you've got the fabulous leather cover on the pale version that we've got on your screen um, if you're going for the dark version at the bottom of your screen you will get your faux leather which is that version of it and then what you've got within there you've got the little pages that obviously Janie is creating at the moment ready and waiting for you to add your content and your detail to and of course you've got all your gorgeous little lacy elements there and all of the elements that you're going to get you're going to be able to put together in this fabulous little box here you're going to learn how to create your your quill and um, this is the dark version that we're looking at um, but um, you have got your lighter quill let me pick up the right one so we've got the right details for you so the lighter one you've got your quill in there and you've got your little bottle with your little kind of lotions and potions labels on there and your antique key and it's mainly um, kind of one of those things it's a little treasure box that you can keep all your fabrics Fabulous heritage garden pieces in 19.99. If you're wanting your 278982, head back over to Janie now. So you've got all your pages ready. Yes, yes, all Lovely. folded in. Um, so it tells you in the instructions to cut your cover piece to the same height but a little bit wider. Okay. okay? So I'm not going to spend time doing this precisely. Everything feels like a rush now oh, this bless morning. You. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. You take your time. So I'm just going to snip the end off. And then because you've got this bit, if you wanted to, you know I said with the map that you get in there, you mm -hmm. could fold it up or you oh, could roll yes, it like yeah. a scroll. If you wanted to, you could snip that down stick it with some strong glue and then your scroll could That's go inside idea, yeah. so it's like a nice little holder for it clever so i'm not going to snip the ends off yet until i see how long they need to be because you've got the thickness now that means that this needs to be just a little bit longer to cover the edges okay okay so there's no technical binding um involved in this all we're going to do is wrap the string around it and do a nice tight knot at the top. So double knot, pull it tight. Now, just as Janie's um, tying the little knot, I've got a bit of news for you. Um, while I was showing you the little book, we had a little chat with Janie to see if we could get any more stamps. And <laughs> so good news, we have. But these are on extended delivery beyond the week that we were talking about. So I think it's about two weeks now. So you can get hold of them. Again, we've not got huge quantities of these ones. Obviously, um, if you want them, you need to be quick. Limited stock already of that extended stock. So. £15.99, the same item number as we've been speaking of previously. So your Christopher Crote details are on your screen there. Of course, Hawking Hair, if you wanted to go for your Hawking Hair, again, the details are the same as the original details, but just bear in mind the 16th of March with regards to dispatch again of these. It's worth every single um, a day of that way because when you get them through and you see that gorgeous artwork that you'll be able to work with, you are going to have loads of fun with these. £15.99 for your hair. Um, well, they're both exactly the same price there, £15.99 details at the bottom for your Christopher Crow and then of course your gorgeous hair hawking hair there 747096 dispatch from the 19th of March now not 19th the 16th sorry <laughs> 16th of March so yeah it's too many dates on the screen there sorry I do apologize in fact yeah I don't know why I even bothered <laughs> <laughs> they've gone did Hawking put on the fairy wings and flew away? Fl flew away, pretty sharpish. <laughs> they're like little fairy wings, they're like jet propelled wings. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, keep your eye open for Janie's shows. I'm sure we will be uh, revisited by those fabulous characters. <laughs> we will let you know if any bounce back, but at the moment, if, they've got, if you've got them in your basket, please be, do the wise thing and check your basket out because we have got people ready and waiting to take those if you don't want them. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you check your baskets out. Okay, Janie. It's like I can see people fighting over them. It's, like, it's, it's, it's like being in the supermarket on Christmas Eve and people are taking <laughs> things out of trolleys. Love it. Okay. I do just want to mention behind you some of the um, samples that we've got. Yes. I don't have a design team, but I do have, in normal circumstances, I have a craft club. Okay. And a couple of my ladies wanted to make a couple of samples Aww. and my sisters oh, we'll made some those as well. With everybody so. in a moment then. Yeah, yeah lovely. So um, all I've done is tie it and because it's a tiny little book, that is enough to hold the book in. So okay. no fancy binding, not complicated at all. Um, I'm just going to slice a tiny little bit off of the ends. Okay, and keep all these little bits because they're all useful. 
yeah I keep the tiny bits I'd say in the um, although there are instructions in the treasure albums there are guidelines okay I say in there keep every little scrap because yeah. you can make like your little snippets and things like that yeah because they can become all sorts of little ties so, in tiny little bit and that little slither there would fit perfectly through the little antique key if you wanted to use that yeah and I'm just snipping the corners off just around it very slightly okay, okay now in the kit as well you get this beautiful and I don't even know what this would have been intended for it's, mm -hmm. it's actually very stiff yes yeah it's kind of a gauze but then it's got the nice metallic embroidery beautiful, on it yeah. so it's perfect for cutting out the elements and nice. then it doesn't fray okay I love it <laughs> and again <laughs> you, get you loads get, in there yeah you get more than you need so you can use it to decorate inside outside your box you can use it to to decorate your uh, little book which Wonderful. is what we're doing here so i'm just going to cut out the motif and that's the beauty of this because of the nature of the the fabric you're working with you don't have to prepare it or anything just go straight in with your scissors yeah exactly and, and that, it. that's no fray like that and then i'm just going to use so any clear glue okay and i'm just going to pop it on the back And then let's have it up in that corner. Oh, isn't that pretty? Like that. Okay. And then you do have as well in your kit, let me just grab, with your treasure map, mm -hmm. which is on a, on a nice craft uh, paper, you've got three little labels as well. So one would be for your bottle, then you've got two more. So if you wanted to put a label, Let's do that, shall we? Let's okay. go with explore. Ooh. So you've got explore, nature and beauty. So let's cut that one out. I use these ginormous scissors for pretty much everything, even my fussy cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big pair of scissors. There we go, snip into the corners. And a little bit of glue on the back. And then we'll pop that there. Now you can see where I've done this, it, it wants to open. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's because obviously we've just taken a flat piece of leather mm -hmm. and we're telling it to go around. So yes. for a while, it's going to want to pop open. Um, inside the kit, you've also got some uh, sari ribbon. Okay. Um, so what I've done on most of them is taken just a little snippet of that, tie it round, it keeps it closed, and then it almost retrains it, and then after oh, a while it, it will see. sit comfortably. Yes. Yeah. Um, and again, very generous with regards to that sari ribbon. This is the, the colour that you're going to get with the, um, the a pale version, the Heritage Garden Pale that we've got on the screen. Going for the darker version, you can see you're getting a lot of that sari ribbon in there, so you don't need a lot of that, but just a little bit there, um, as you say, retraining the covers. Yeah, mm. and it's also lovely tied on to the end of the MDF key as well. Good it's point, a little embellishment. Yes. So also in the kit, you get these little mini tags so Aww. these could be stuck back to back yeah. if you wanted to um or you could back them i mean this is 120 gsm if you want them a bit stiffer you could just put it onto a plain card if okay. you wanted to so they could be you know you could write little notes or whatever to go in your box or they could go in your little book here Lovely. so let's just use this one and these were done so i actually made some blank tags which i stitched around and then ink the edges, scan those in, and then for the different kits, I then just put the images oh, in I that see. go yeah, with, the, with the kit. Nice effect as well. So I'm gonna ink around the edge. Just to age it down a little bit more. Wonderful. I'm just going to put that in the front. I've got a bit of a glue spillage here. Actually, Ooh. I wonder if I can just do it with my finger. <laughs> Instead of <laughs> wasting it. <laughs> well, don't waste it. That's for certain. And I'm going to put that at an angle. So then you could leave it like that or you could write along there as well. You also get some little mushrooms and some bugs. 
these are really nice, the little snails. I noticed that on the front yeah. of the, one of the boxes, looks so cute. So, um, a bit of news, folks. I did say I'd let you know um, a couple of those stamp sets. In fact, I was to tell you that three of these have um, popped out of people's baskets. In fact, it's only two now because somebody's picked those back up again. So we've got a couple of these. If you are quick and you're shopping online, then you do stand a chance of getting hold of this. If you're phoning through your order, then I can't guarantee that you will get hold of these because I know that as soon as I've mentioned it, that people will jump onto the website and place their orders. So, uh, yeah, whichever way you're getting hold of these, please just be quick. But more importantly, please make sure you complete your order. Obviously, if you order on phone, then that's going to happen naturally. But if you're on the website, I know lots of people add goodies into the basket and then wait to the end of the show to check out. They're only going to be in there for about, I don't know, it's about 10 minutes or so nowadays. So you might find exactly as happens here. You're not paying attention because watching demonstrations or whatever, they fall out of your basket. Go back into our stock allocation and there will be people trying that item number <laughs> repetitively to try and get hold of them. And you might not have the opportunity to get them back in your basket. So check your basket out, but be quick with regards to those. Of course, Janie's working with a fabulous little box kit that we're chatting about. And these really are crammed full with all sorts of fabulous elements and your full instructions so when you actually get hold of these you're going to have your blank box so your box will come to you something along the lines of this but then the kit itself will have all the papers in there it'll have your leather if you're going for uh, the pale if you're going for the darker version faux leather you'll get your little vintage map in there you'll get all the elements to help you create your own own quill pen that is actually a usable pen as well and again you've got some fabulous elements there in fact shall I show you the darker kit since I'm stood behind it let me show you the darker version to you so the darker version a similar sort of idea you're going to get your box that you're going to be able to create with but you've got that darker theme running through it so you've got there you've got your fabulous um, garden a brown this one is called so it's still heritage garden but brown um, so you've got your faux leather as you can see there to create your little book that we saw Janie creating a few moments ago with that side ribbon wrapped around it to retrain those pages but you're going to kind of keep it like that love the little charm as well you're going to get a little charm in there you're also going to get the elements to help you create your own quilt which I think is brilliant because it is a working pen so you could actually use that to jot down little notes in your mini book that you're making you're also going to get your fabulous little MDF key antique style key you're also going to get some paint in there a very generous pot of paint that will allow you to add the colour and it's quite a thick paint so you might want to add a little bit of water to that to maximise the use because I know if you're anything like me you want it to go further than just your little key uh, and then you're going to get that beautiful lace and all those other little elements the papers it's brilliant let's have a little look at the kit because I'll explain the papers to you because the papers are printed with the gorgeous designs that um, the lovely Janie has well she's drawn these herself I mean I'm in awe of anybody that can draw it's amazing isn't it so you've got the little tags that you've got down at the bottom there absolutely beautiful the artwork that Janie was just showing us on the sheets there again absolutely beautiful um, don't forget if um, you can get hold of loads of the artwork that Jenny um, has prepared via a download that we've got on the website as well the books them uh, sorry the books the pages themselves are giving you the um, elements there to create your inside flap as you can see the inside of your lid you've got the walls you've got the ends and you can see all the instructions are there and the suggestions and the help that Janie can provide you with to make sure that you are getting those perfect results. But look at this artwork. I mean, how beautiful is this? This is going to be a little treasure box that you're going to go to time and time again. It might be sitting on a little side table in your living room. It might be on your windowsill in your craft room. But you're going to have somewhere, a little place that you can pop those elements. You're going to get, obviously, all those that are included as well. And have a look. The most cute little um, map here as well. And this is absolutely fabulous because you've got that vintage map in there that you can roll up with the leftovers that you've got of the different elements. And you have got so much in here. And of course, you'll have other elements of your own that I'm sure you will add to this. So always popular whenever Janie brings us something as creative as this. And that is exactly what's happening. They are flying out. So this one is your dark version, which is your brown. And then don't forget the per version that uh, Janie's been working on is the lighter version version which is that light grey tone as well so 772299 if you're wanting to get hold of those so moving down this is where you've got the lighter version that Janie is creating with so the elements exactly the same the same papers the same tags the same vintage map that you've got in the MDF now the things that are going to change on this are the paint you're going to get a different tone of paint but these paints are unique to the kits 
this is a special blend that Janie has put together. So this one is different to the one that you'll get in the dark. And likewise, the sari ribbon and the lace and the elements like so, they are going to be different because obviously this is more of a lighter tone, the paler tone. But the actual pages themselves are going to be, I think they are the same, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not actually. When I look again, I do apologise. They <laughs> are different. Right. So you could go for both kits and have different yeah. styles. Oh, I love it. I didn't realise that. It's all going in. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. <laughs> we are that busy, to be fair. Um, again, you're going to get that fabulous vintage element in there with that gorgeous uh, vel vintage velvet in there. And, of course, all the elements that you're going to be able to create with these. So 1999. 278982. Now, it's been a popular bundle. We've seen Janie just start with this one, but half of the stock has gone. Okay. If you want to get hold of these, you need to be quick. You need to be quick um, with regards to the brown version as well, because that is proven to be popular as well. And I think now that you realise, and I realise that the papers are different, as I say, it's all been a bit of a blur. Um, <laughs> lots of you adding both of those in, which you can do quite easily. Now, didn't even have a chance to show you these stamps. So I'm going to show you some other stamps that we've got on the show. These are absolutely beautiful. Now, Janie, you were chatting before when we started the preparation for your show, and you were explaining that the idea behind these is so you can kind of create your own almost lace elements. Yeah, so they, you can see the border ones. They repeat stamp. Okay, these particular ones here, yeah. Um, well, and the lace ones as well. So you've got borders and you've got the longer elements. They will repeat so oh, you can make you a border yes, sorry, as, long yes. as, as long as you like. Okay. As long as your eyes are a little bit better than mine, you can line up the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also you've got elements in there that you can... So that up in the corner, the white on the brown, that one. Yeah. So that is a perfect stamp for making your own lace design. Okay. Because you can keep stamping that and rotating. Yes. And then within there, you've got a tiny little stamp, uh, which is like netting. So then again, you can repeat stamp that in between and create a whole lace panel. Beautiful. And I'll just bring those stamps in just to show you. So you're getting all of these fabulous stamps. Within here. There's a lot of stamps for your 12 99 And of course, showing you all the different variations of the ways that working with it. I mean, these are beautiful. I love this. Going onto your plain fabrics and multi-stamping. And again, that border, you're so right that just using it yeah. repetitively. I mean, originally, I designed both of these sets for... Uh, because when I was making journals and albums, you know when you just need those little background elements or the little um, bits along the edge of your page? That was why I designed these. But then I thought, actually, they're perfect on fabrics. Gorgeous. So if you use, like, your Versacraft ink pads that you can heat set, perfect. I mean, think of those on a lovely scarf. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. So there we go. Now, of course, that one is your lacy elements. Then you've got your fa um, your fabulous um, filigree with all your fancy filigree, should I say. This one, again, you are getting lots and lots of stamps in here. So you can see, again, you'll be able to recognise with these how you're going to be able to use them and build up your corners and tessellate your design. So you've got lots of stamps within there. Making your own fabulous papers. I mean, look at these absolutely beautiful teaming them together as well so you can see how they do work so well too. i mean look at that taking one of those corners um stamping it out back to back with those right angles coming into the center there what a huge piece and then vintage elements again you can be using those stamps to create almost your own little wax seals with these absolutely beautiful elements time and time again dependent on the mediums that you're working with including your fabrics of course the key thing is to make sure that the fabrics um, inks that you're working with are going to be right for your fabrics if you're not washing then you don't have to worry um, the, the the inks that you use but if it's something that you are wanting to wash then something like your VersaCraft and obviously heat set that when you actually apply but this is where I love this adding that detail giving it the vintage look and don't forget if you've gone for those stamps that we were chatting about earlier on and you've gone for both sets you'll actually have the story won't you that you could actually replicate it and get these stamps and use it as the corners but um, for the time being if you're wanting those stamps the details are there 12.99 whichever of those two sets you go for but they are both on the same item number so as many of you are you can go for both of them at the same time 535904 right do you remember right back at the beginning i showed you some <laughs> fabulous stamps and they sold out and then they came back into stock and then they sold out right okay we've had a chat with Janie. <laughs> Well, actually, we locked her in the broom cupboard and we told her she couldn't come back out until we could have more stock. So with these, three weeks extended delivery with these, but they are back in stock and available for you as well. And that is it. She's, she's been quite firm. She's put her foot down with a firm hand and she said, there you go, that's it. 
23rd of March, so that's your, heart, um, your hair if you're wanting your fabulous hair. But we've also got the crow. These are not going to last though because we've been having people that are waiting for these. And I know the frustration when things go out of stock, but Janie's managed to get these. Now, I think, are you working with these, Janie, in your yes, demo? I'm quick, quick, do it now, do it now. Do it now. I'm going to start off with um, Hawking. Okay, so, and it's very rare, actually, it's typical with all these sellouts, it's very rare that I produce something in advance and go, this is what we're going to make. I normally just wing it. I was prepared this time and it's like, can't do that, they've <laughs> sold out. So, right. Um, I don't think we mentioned earlier that the stamps come to you in paper envelopes. They do, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Because I try and cut down on plastic where possible. Okay. Sometimes it's not possible. Um, and also because we were saying off screen that I'm very messy and um, my stamps go everywhere. So it's ideal to keep them in their envelope. Nice and neat. Lovely. So um, as we said earlier, these are sizable stamps. So you can see with the size of my hand. So um, I'm using this. I don't know what you call this platform, actually, the one with the sponge corners. Oh, um, um, Stamp Addicts um, girls used to bring something like that, didn't they? Yeah. I think this is a Crafts 2 one. Okay. Um, and actually, just before the show, <laughs> we had to lower the table, didn't we? Because I was we like, did. oh, I the table's too high. Two. I don't think I'm going to be able to stamp on it. Neither that Crafts 2 did one of these. I'll have to get one of these. I didn't know. I've, I've had this one. for ages, actually. Um, Right, so I've printed off some papers which are from the Digi kit. Okay, the digital download. And these yeah. echo through all of the kits that we've had on today as well. Um, and I'm going to stamp Hawking onto the repeat pattern. Okay. Single figures now with these stamps, folks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, you need to have more confidence in your work. <laughs> Everybody's loving these. <laughs> right. So, I now feel like I'm rushing again. So, if it doesn't stamp properly, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, bless. It's one of those mornings, isn't it? And it's like, I never sleep very well the night before a show oh, either. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I know that if any company that comes to us, um, when it's a small company, just like as Jane is, everybody gets very nervous about bringing new things. Um, I need to let you know that technically um, this one has sold out, but Jenny, uh, you, you need Can to I? continue. So. Right, um, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, yeah, sold out. So $15.99, well done, and thank you to everybody that's placed your order. And I think we need to kind of campaign for more of these, don't we, from a uh, lovely Jane. <laughs> I think there's going to be more in the story as well, so, uh, yeah. Um, Do you know now, Christopher Crowe is still available, she says, confidently. Not so confidently, because I don't think the stock of this one is going to last as well. But yeah, again, if you're wanting this one, you can get hold of Christopher Crowe. Do you know what the funny thing is? When you just said, jokingly, you need to be more confident. The thing is, when you do this on your own, and it goes from the sketches, the, the doodles, the scribbles that you've just seen, there's no one else to make a decision. Yeah. So it's all you. So you, uh, you, know, you put your heart into it, and mm -hmm. you work on this, and it's... it's pretty full on when you yes. when you're designing a whole thing mm -hmm. and then you put it out there and it's like I hope people are going to like it and like now it's like thank you thank you so yeah, much I <laughs> yeah I think they like it yeah <laughs> I think we, we've ticked that box <laughs> right so I've stamped him or her Hawking could be either onto the pattern here um, I'm just going to roughly cut out I'm not going to fussy cut the whiskers who's got time for that That's nonsense true. that is just silly <laughs> so I'm going to, and again, I'm doing this quickly, so excuse me if it's uh, a bit rushed. Okay. I've um, got keys on the phone line, folks, as well, just to warn you, if you are placing your order on the phone line, um, yeah, you need to be quick with regards to those. Um, can I quickly show you this? Because we haven't really shown you. We've spoken of the digital download, which is at the bottom of your screen, just while Jane is cutting out. You've got the details there. The digital download is going to give you the ability for you to print out elements as well, and as often as you like. And I think you'll agree, absolutely beautiful artwork. Obviously, you can get hold of the kits, the fabulous little treasure boxes with your pages in there and your elements that you couldn't... Uh, 
obviously craft with. But if you do have the ability to print um, your own crafting materials, then I would certainly suggest you get hold of this um, download, $6.99 brilliant value for money and it gives you the ability to print and print and print to your heart's content so if you wanted to get a hold of those you're not going to get anything physically sent out to you so if you've ever bought downloads from us or anywhere before you'll know that you will get the information emailed through to you and that means it's going to come to you i don't know how quick it comes because I'm, I'm guessing well, i don't know i don't know but it will arrive I don't know should, if it's pretty instant or I don't yeah, know Yeah, there works. should be a link. So once you check out, I think you go into your orders and it's sitting there ready for you to download. Perfect. I'm not sure if it comes as email as well, but I'm pretty sure that you go to your account. Your account within the, the with website. With your orders, Perfect. yeah, and you can download so it straight from there. people could be crafting with these this afternoon yeah. then. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to say that Janie was... Oh, no, you're not back later on, are you? I was thinking no. that you're going to be back later, but yeah. <laughs> but you could show us what you created later. Sorry, Janie, carry That's on. That's okay. So um, what I'm going to do, like I said, I didn't cut out the whiskers because that would just be silly. Okay. So I'm going to stamp again onto the background. So all I'm doing is inking up the whiskers and any little wispy bits that I haven't cut out. Okay. Okay, so move him to one side. So I will position this where I want him to be on the paper. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to stamp down these whiskers. And do you know what? It sounds funny. I asked my brother-in-law if he had any... He does a lot of really stunning photography. Okay. So I said, have you got any photos of hairs for when I was drawing it? And it sounds silly, but I didn't realise how hairy a hair is. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, it's not anything I've really if, thought of. Well, you don't see them close up, That's do you? That's true, yeah. Um, so when I was really zooming in on the photo, they are, you know, and it looks like I've really extended the eyelashes yeah. and the whiskers and everything, but they are really they're hairy. Really, very pretty animals, <laughs> beautiful. Um, yeah, they're very popular um, around where I am. We're not too far from Glastonbury, and if you go to oh, Glastonbury, yeah. you'll yeah. see images of hairs everywhere it, it's kind of like a bit of a mystical well, it's got a bit of a creature. spiritual feel to it yeah it's kind of one of those spiritual animals it's quite so magical yeah. if we see them because where we are the you don't see them very often but and you they know. leap as well don't they yeah. they go quite high yeah they, they jump around. so i'm going to position this one over okay and i've used the glue that hopefully gives me a little bit of wiggle time so you can see what i'm doing is lining up the whiskers so once I stick him down... That's a really clever tip. I think I'm going to so, steal that. It's a very yeah. clever way of doing it. Yeah, yeah, so now you're not missing any of the detail, but yeah. we didn't need to fussy cut that out. And you've got the difference between the two prints. I'm not going to finish the whole thing off completely because it's gone again, hasn't it? It has gone, yeah. yeah. We've actually got the details up on the screen of Christopher Crow. And, and many of you out there eagle-eyed will say, that's not a crow. No, it's not. <laughs> but it's the only stamp that we really can show you on the screen um, that relates to this fabulous story that um, we started, this journey with Janie. Um, and I think it, many of us are going to be joining you on this journey in the story. <laughs> um, shall I show you a couple of little pictures that we've got? Now, these are fans of Janie um, who have been creating some beautiful pieces using elements she's brought to us before now this one is from Lorraine and this is Lorraine's first project working with Janie's um, goodies so you can see if you are completely new to Janie's range then uh, yeah you, you are going to be able to create some absolutely amazing pieces very very quickly and easily so Lorraine thank you for sharing that with us absolutely beautiful um, I bought the details up, well well I haven't bought the details because I'm stood here I bought the stamp up <laughs> to show you the stamp that relates to the details on the screen there I know that you've seen this already but it is flying out the story behind these stamps is we bought them to you at the top of the hour you found these yourselves I didn't even get to you um, to show them to you before they started selling out and they have come back on extended delivery that extended delivery stock um, sold out we managed to get hold of a few more we've literally pinned poor Janie down to try and get as much stock as we possibly can she's only a very small business a small enterprise so she can't bring thousands and thousands and hundreds and hundreds of different elements so this is why things sell out so quickly but it's purely down to the popularity as well because again it's a risk that um, any of our, our fabulous suppliers make when they come to us they, they kind of risk the fact that you're going to enjoy what they've brought to us and on this occasion she's hit the nail right on the head and I'm sure we will see more from Christopher Crow and fabulous hawking hair now we've got about seven minutes left on the show and it's okay. funny because usually when we have a show we say we have 
is the time gone? But it's kind of like, oh my goodness, we've still got seven <laughs> minutes um, and so much has gone on. It's been a bit of a crazy morning, it is. hasn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to quickly show you uh, with the lace elements. Okay. But just while you were talking on this one, all I've done is gone in with a little pen and you can see how I've drawn it. I kind of indicate to you where the shading would be. Okay. So all is you that do there. the clean colour pen. Yes. Oh, we had and a couple of fabulous shows of those beige. yesterday. Yeah. So yeah, all you do is just go around, put a bit of shading in, and you know it's kind of coloured for you. That's it. Lovely. Right. So as we haven't got much time, what I'll do is because I was explaining to you about the lace elements, mm -hmm. let's just um, we're just going to have a play with them. We're Lovely. not going to make anything in particular, but. I will show you how you can build a pattern. Just checking that sticks because I normally leave my stamp so dirty <laughs> they don't stick anymore. So I'll stamp it down there. I'm not going to re-ink. I'm going to turn it and stamp again. Keep going until there's no ink left. And then do the same again. And keep building up. that then I'm going to use this is the tiny I think this is the smallest stamp in the set and this is the um, netting and then again you can move it around in between and it gives you the idea of the lace Keep turning it around. Now you don't have to have this on a block if you don't want to either. Depending on what you're doing it on, it might be easier for you just to do it like this. Fill in all the little elements. Oh, that's a clever tip. So obviously, again, you would take more time than I'm doing here, but it's just to show you how it how it builds. And then you've got different elements like this one here so you can see how it starts to build beautiful and um, what should we go for next let's go with this one here it's a brilliant because like you say you could build up a whole page and as long as you're using the right ink pad to start with then you can start adding your base colors afterwards can't you and then uh, obviously with your permanent ink um, two choices of your stamps with these ones, twelve ninety nine. We will show you those a little bit later on, aren't I sure? Um, and we've got the details on the download at the bottom of the screen as well, which is very popular as well. All I'm going to do, just to give you a better idea, is trim it down slightly. If you imagine this is a background, and then. That looks amazing. <laughs> Let's just ink around the edge. So you can imagine that as a background that to fabulous. if you if you imagine Christopher Crow, because you mm -hmm. don't have to stamp the whole thing. Yeah. You could have just his head peeking out from here with a little sentiment along yeah. the top. And also, if you were to do this, say, in a, in a gold heat embossing, that would look beautiful as well. Good but point. it's just to show you how quickly you can build well, um, guess a pattern. What? <laughs> we're busy for those stamps as well, aren't we? <laughs> Everything that Janie's sharing with us is flying out. So the lace elements, that one is limited in stock. So 12 99 you're going to get all those elements that Janie's just been sharing with us. And she's quite right. So easy to work with. Build up your design, place those down and create some amazing pieces. Um, don't forget with regards to that item number you've got choices you've got fancy filigree as well so again you could go for those ones um, Christopher Crow just to let you know incredibly busy with regards to Christopher Crow he's hanging on by a thread 80% of the stock has gone and Jamie was mentioning about some of the fabulous things that have been created using the stamp so I thought we'd take the opportunity just because we probably won't have time to go to the back of the set to show these so bringing these in and again I mean absolutely beautiful the way that these have been used Jamie I mean that artwork is fabulous Thank Thank you for sharing it with us. 
and that one, uh, Julie did that one so it just shows you putting the colour in like that so that's uh, stamped in black and then clear embossed Beautiful. and then obviously you can just colour in between um, mm. but then you've got the key you've got so the uh, watch element there is from Hawking, so that's the dandelion across clock, across, which yeah. you also have little um, hands of the clock if you want to put them on there as oh, well. I see. And then that's you using a technique that we've done in workshops before as well to create a whole canvas piece. Fabulous. And again, don't just limit it to your paper and your card. Take inspiration and actually use it as a base to embroider absolutely amazing a really really pretty design so if you're wanting your stamp then please do get a hold of it um digital download um as we leave you towards the end of the show very 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 busy with regards to these and the digital download is giving you all the elements now with the download what sort of things are we going to find in there um a4 so, sheets and things like yeah, that yeah so they're all um full a4 sheets um you've got tags in there you've got envelopes pockets You've got repeat pattern designs. You've got the scenes that you can see um, on the actual book there. So all your wildflowers and your mushrooms. There's loads of additions on there. There's, Will there's we find loads. Hawking on there? Um, yeah, so in the digital download, you've okay. got... So that is from the original painting that we saw earlier that Melissa sent in. Yes. And that's the only place that that print will be. So there's um, two, I think, with Hawking on and one with Hawking and Christopher. So if people missed out on the stamp, I know it's not the same as the stamp, yeah, but if you just yeah. can't be without a little Hawking in your classic <laughs> stash, then the digital download is the way to go, really, isn't it, to get hold of them? Janie, thank you so much. I mean, you've worked like a trooper, bless you. I feel you. like I need a lie down now, but I've got you a lot of packing to do. You need a lie down. Do, <laughs> what do you think I feel like? <laughs> thank you, everyone, though. Thank you. <laughs> We're all exhausted, but thank you. Beautiful <laughs> artwork. And please bring back more from these fabulous stories. Um, so, yeah, what can I say? Anything in your basket, you need to be checking your basket size, especially if you are going for any of the stamps, because, again, the lacy elements flying out. Christopher Crowe, again, flying out, as are those wonderful little treasure box kits as well so whatever's in your basket please check your baskets out if you're watching on repeat stands a chance that the items that you're wanting are no longer available that's why it's so important to tune in and see these live shows stay tuned though we've got another live show coming up straight after the break <laughs>